This video is sponsored by iFixit. In this box is a Nintendo Switch that a viewer named Daniel tried to have a repair professional fix. Daniel also tried to fix it, neither of them were successful, so he sent it to me to see if I could fix it. So let's get it unboxed and see the damage. Daniel says, hello Steve, I've bought a broken switch where I think the video chip was burned so I tried removing it when two traces to one filter went off also. I gave it to a professional who tried to solder back another two video chips but it always failed. They said the new chip solder contacts are corroded, which I can't imagine, so I tried it by myself but also can't get all the solder pads connected. Oh yeah, this is always a great way to start it out with snacks. Okay, we're starting out, so it looks like there is a video chip included. So we will check that out, see if it's something that is salvageable or not. Let's see how it made the trip. This came all the way from Germany. Okay, and the switch from the outside looks pretty good. Let's get this back cover off and see what the inside looks like. I'll be using my iFixit Protect Toolkit. It's got everything I need all in this one carrying case. So I'm gonna be getting out the Y00 and also the Phillips 00. It's really great having this full toolkit with all of these bits. So no matter what I run into, I've got everything I need all in this one kit. If you want to get a set of some of the best tools around, go to ifixit.com and go to their tools section and you can pick up yourself an iFixit Pro Tech toolkit that has pretty much everything you need to get into pretty much anything. Okay, let's open up the back. And we need to remove this metal cover and we can get to the motherboard. And here we go, let's have a first look at the motherboard. Now there is no thermal paste on this switch. Daniel said he knew I'd wanna put the perfect amount on, so he didn't put any on when he was reassembling it. So we'll be sure to do that later in the video. I'm sure you won't wanna miss that part. Let's check and see if any of these caps are shorted or any of these caps are shorted over here. So we have one probe on ground. One side of this cap should beep, the other side should not. One side, and the other side. Okay, those are all good so far. Okay, let's check these ones. Okay, so far everything looks good. Now I need to remove this motherboard so we can get down to the video chip. And here's the video chip. Let's get zoomed in on that and see the damage. Okay, we got a number of issues here. The first and most obvious is we are missing this trace. We knew about that. This trace right here that goes to the other side of this filter over here also is not connected to this chip. But also this chip has not been soldered on properly. It looks like there probably wasn't enough heat used. A number of these pins aren't connected to the pins on the chip, so that needs to be fixed. Also, I need to check, but it looks like we're missing com some components over here. So I need to get a donor board and check that and replace those components. I'm going to assume that this P13 chip is good, but it is possible that the chip itself is faulty as well. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get this chip soldered on correctly, make sure we have all these components we need here, and then we'll go ahead and repair these traces. So... This is what it should look like. And this one doesn't have any of these components over here either, so apparently that's all normal, so no worries there. Now that we know that that's all normal, let's get to the repairs. The first thing I'm gonna do is heat this chip up and get all of these pins soldered on correctly. What I'll do is take my iron and kind of rub each pin and get that to connect to the pad on the motherboard. Then after that, I'm going to place a wire between this point and this pin on the chip and this point and this pin on the chip. 
and I'm going to do my best to show it, but unfortunately it's probably not going to show it the best because it is work on the side of this chip. These little pads on the side of the chip are where I need to attach the wire to, so I'm going to rub my iron against it to remove any oxide from the pad on the chip, then I will attach my wire here and my wire here. And here we go. I think we are good on this one. We got a nice strong bond between the chip and this wire and the chip and this wire and a nice strong bond over here on the filter. I think each of these joints is good. I might have to go back and do a little work on them, but I think they're all good to go. So now I'm gonna get this thing put back into the switch and see if it works. And the most important part of this whole repair, the perfect amount of thermal paste. Now this Nintendo Switch is all put back together. I'm gonna plug in a charger and see what the charging amperage is. Let's see if we get a display. If we get a display, we'll plug it into a dock and see if we get a display on the TV. Okay, here we go. Let's see what kind of charge we get. 0 0.28, 0 0.48, good. Oh, we got a charge indicator. Is it gonna start up? Great news so far. Let's see if it turns all the way on. Yes, okay, so far the switch is looking good, but we got to see if it works up on the TV. One of the things that video chip does is help switch between the display on the switch and when you dock it to switch it over to the TV. Also, before I forget, if you like this type of video, I think you're gonna like the last video I did where I helped out a viewer who got ripped off by a repair shop who didn't know how to repair their device. So I'll put the link to that video up on your screen now so you can come check that out and see if I can fix their console. But let's see if this one will work. We have a green light. No green light. Okay. Oh, green light. Okay, good. Now let's see what happens. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Daniel, your Nintendo Switch is fixed. Thank you so much for sending it in. Thank you for sending in my German chocolate. It's amazing. Thank you to iFixit for sponsoring this video. Thank you for watching it, and I hope you have a good one.